Hello Hammerheads, thanks for tuning in, oh god almighty, I'm exhausted, don't know why, I'm done fuck all. Anyway, I was talking to this fucking lad at work today, right? He says, um, oh, I think um, Ed Miliband should be Prime Minister. He can make a good Prime Minister, Ed Miliband. I says to him, what the fuck are you talking about? Ed fucking Miliband? Ed fucking millipede, you mean? Fucking Ed, Mi you know what it is? Um, he's got no fucking backbone, right? Dave Milliband was better than him, but they had a fall out, bloody blood. I don't know all the details. I don't give a fuck to be honest with you. The, the they're a pair of clowns. Tell you something, right? If fucking um, Labour win the in next elections and Ed Miliband is leader, I will be very worried indeed. Because he doesn't know what he's fucking doing. You know, he, he's too fucking soft. He's going to be one of these fucking leaders, right? Who's going to be giving loads of money to all these fucking people. Just like Labour always fucking do. Like fucking, you know, oh, I'll invent a new, like, benefit scheme. Oh, people who smoke too much can get £30 a week. You know what I mean? Oh, people who drink eight cans of Stella or more a night can get, like, £60 a week. Oh, there you go. No wonder we've got no fucking money every time Labour's in power. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, 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 I'm not for any fucking party, me. They're all fucking shits, the lot of them. I wouldn't vote for fucking any of them. You know, the, the fucking rubbish. I mean, <laughs> Cameron, Clegg, his party, they're all fucking bickering and falling out, aren't oh, no, I mean, great, <laughs> that's great news for England, they're supposed to be fucking running the country, they can't even agree amongst themselves about stuff, and Labour on the other hand, they're all bickering and fighting and all, and being racist and stupid, so, I'm not voting for anyone ever again, I've only voted once in my life, and that was 1987, and that was, was it 87? Or 87? It was Labour I voted for anyway and I thought, well, I might as well. I'm sick of being out of work, but didn't get anywhere because Thatcher won again, didn't she? <laughs> but anyway, governments, they're all shits. No. Don't believe a word any of them say, because they're fucking... i tell you something, right? <laughs> I'm going to get my mum to run for fucking Prime Minister. <laughs> she can do a better job than these fucking idiots. Bloody imbeciles, a lot of them. I mean, I'll tell you what, she'll, um She'll fucking make everyone, um she, she, nobody will have to pay gas or electricity bills anymore <laughs> under my mum's regime, I tell you now. That'd be fucking thumbs up for me. And um, But apart from that, I don't think she would get anything else right. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, I'd rather trust my mum running the country than any of these fucking idiots. Labour or any fucking conservative, every, any, all of them, any of them, they're all fucking, um, <laughs> all it's about is 
getting a big status, getting your name in the history books. Time was when it was important to have a leader for your country. That leader thought he had a big fucking part of history bestowed upon him, right? And he didn't abuse it. Or she didn't abuse it. Well, it was more or well, kings and queens even. They didn't abuse the power. They do now. And it's been going on for decades. It's <laughs> throughout most of the 20th century and before that even. Be <laughs> That's all it's about. It's just like football and everything else and religion. It's all about fucking money, isn't it? That's all I care about. Pound signs in their eyes. That's all you can see in Ed Miliband's eyes. Fucking pound signs. Oh, I'm going to be in history books, me, you know. Yeah, right. Look at Tony Blair, man. He's fucking multi-millionaire now. Living like a recluse. But you know what I mean, he, he fucked this country up big style, didn't he? Tony Blair. Fucking hell. When he got into power, we thought we were going to have big, fucking important, brilliant changes. What happened? Fire strike, foot and mouth epidemic, and the petrol crisis, you name it, one thing after the other. I mean, whether he was to blame or not. Well, yeah, it was. It, it didn't cause these things to happen. But he didn't act quick enough or adequately enough, did he? No. Because he was too fucking young and incompetent and fucking stupid. It was dead funny. I was reading this article in the paper not long ago. It's 87, uh, 97 when he got into power. To 2007, ten years later, and it looked like 40 years older. <laughs> Much surprised. Anyway, hammerheads. I'll see you later. I'll have to go. I've got things to do. Bloody Nora.